Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Steph Sabra. And uh, we're looking at first couple to have a baby. Steph Sabra and I are taking notes. Of, uh, <laughs> you know, the future, <laughs> anything's possible. You never know. Exactly. So th- this is actually from Julie Nolke's channel. I apologize, Julie, if I'm saying your name incorrectly, or it might be Julie Nolk. We'll find out soon enough. But anyways, you guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. This video is featuring Ryan George, and so um, maybe follow both of their channels. There'll be a link in the description below for the video we're about to watch. If you want to click on that, give the original an upvote. Subscribe to Julie from there, and I'll also have a link for Ryan George's channel. Hey, check this out. Whoa. Hey, that's new. Yeah, it is. That's all wet. Did that just come out of you? Yeah. And it hurt a lot. That's so gross. Why did you do that? I didn't do it on purpose. Are there any more in there, or is that it? So. <laughs> Unless there's a littler one in this one, like a Russian doll. What's a Russian uh, doll? I, I can see it. I mean, it's like a doll, but it's do you Russian. Know what? I, yeah. I think this might be that burrito I was talking about. Oh, that burrito about nine months back. It made you sick. You threw up. I threw up so much. Mostly in the mornings. No, it was all day. Yeah, mostly in the mornings. I'm going to call that your morning sickness. That's what I'm going to call it. Is this this like a little person? (laughs) So accurate. This is guys name everything. My twin is pregnant right now, and she's like, I don't know why they call it morning sickness. It's all day. Yeah. It's not just in the morning. It's just when you wake up, it starts because you were asleep. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. That's true. Uh, and just fun fact, the Russian doll is called the Matryoshka doll. Oh, Matryoshka? I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but I, I, I'm i pretty sure it's called the Matry- Matryoshka doll. This is probably like an inflection or a rolling R in there somewhere that I'm missing. Uh, Matryoshka doll. Oh, yeah. You know, something like that. Anyway. So is this... Is this like a little person? It's offensive, I think. Is it? I mean, it doesn't look like it's offensive. It's really small. I don't remember ever being that small. I think small. we'd remember being that small. And I've always had teeth, I think. Mm-hmm. It's obsessed with my nipples for some reason. But yeah, no, yeah, I get that. No, but it's like eating my boobs. Well, I can't say I haven't tried that myself. Yeah, respect, little person. Why is it so loud? Stop, please. Oh, maybe it doesn't speak English. Excusez-moi, arrêtez, s'il vous plaît. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It was a French doll. No, it just it pooped was a, on me. Oh, it was a French doll. Well, those little doll. Frenchies into some weird stuff. I feel like it would have gone to the toilet if it could, but maybe it's just too dumb for that. It does look pretty dumb. Yeah, like a dumb wrinkly <laughs> potato, but also I would totally die for it if that makes maybe sense. Maybe we need to cover its dumb little potato butt area with something. Something to catch the poop. Yeah, like a poop catcher, like a heavy duty underwear poop catcher. Yeah. Oh, but what do you do when it gets all poopy though? Change it and put on a fresh poop catcher. What, every time? I guess. That seems like a time consuming commitment. I mean, I poop often. I poop like <laughs> once a week. That you should be pooping more. <laughs> I'll try. This feels like this is a long-term commitment. You think this is like a forever thing? It might be. Jeez. Wow. Well, you know, good luck with that. <laughs> I'm sorry? I'm just saying, I'm glad I didn't have anything to do oh, with this. Uh, I think I think like you might you. have had something to do no, with it. No, because you made that over there. I was over yeah, here. It, um, no way. No. Know, it's not. No. Like it, see, it's a completely different know. vocal registry. I think part of this looks like you, at least half. <laughs> <laughs> got a little beard. You can't prove anything. <laughs> oh my god. That was interesting, to say the least. I think about it all the time with new inventions, like who created the spoon, mm-hmm. but I haven't thought about it with like what happened when the first baby popped out. Well, I mean, these things evolve over hundreds of thousands of years, but yeah. to eventually arrive at having a diaper genie, which is what I was obsessed with when I was a kid. I'm like, that sounds cool, a what's, diaper genie. What's <laughs> you, that? You just put the diaper in there and it, Oh. Yeah, you know, I don't know why you do that. Is it, you don't, you, ever, you never heard of a diaper no. genie? No. Yeah, you just put the- Oh, I must have had one of those, but I don't have a little wrinkly potato of my own, so. We'll work, we'll work on that. Yeah, so maybe <laughs> one day I'll get a diaper after, genie. After, so you put all the- <laughs> Gross ones. Just knock it out after, <laughs> after this video. <laughs> yeah, in nine months, check in with us. Yeah, um, and so, yeah, you just put the diapers in there for some reason you, instead of throwing it in the garbage because then it won't stink as much, I guess, because it's uh, odor blocking. Oh. 
That's the idea. That's how they got the compost design. The compost trash can design. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Have you seen a compost trash can? No. Oh, okay. So it's what you compost in. People compost different things and it kind of turns into soil-based okay. fertilizer, essentially, because you're taking vegetables. Some people put meat, but then that will stank way quicker. Like unused vegetables, meat, whatever it is, like things that are compostable. Hold on. For the human poop? No, no. You use it to then put in your garden or something from your no poop. not human no no <laughs> just just I was, what i was gonna say when you said that was like that's the like the missing step in evolution that this is what's gonna be between us and the great filter is if we are able to you know about the great filter no the fermi paradox okay well anyway you all know what i'm talking about okay. probably i think what's gonna prevent us from being able to beat the great filter is just figuring out poop we are constantly having like an energy crisis in california yeah. it seems like i mean even in texas they're having it bad right now as yes. of this recording like people are going to be suffering heat waves like nobody's business and lights out in the middle of like you cannot use your air conditioning or your lights between two and eight o'clock or something stupid i'm like it's so hot in texas though anyway point being is if you can figure out how to turn your poop into energy since so you can turn all these you know fat cows across the country i mean, I mean people buy fat cows <laughs> like <laughs> like who are eating and shitting like we are the biggest consumers per capita in the world yep. and if we could just turn or figure out a way to turn our poop into energy that would solve so many problems it you really know? would um and so bill gates actually is on the frontier of i mean this was a while ago of figuring out how to provide third world countries or developing countries with self-sustaining poop machine things that turn your poop into clean drinking water he pooped in it and drank it himself on camera so anyway different uh, conversation i wouldn't do that myself Bill, you nasty yeah but <laughs> i mean it's clean it's sanitary it's probably no, more sanitary than the bottled waters that we get over here garcetti Bottle water <laughs> when the bottled water transports it's in a truck that's hot and so the plastic mm. dissem not disseminates but like little particles of plastic get inside your water and then make your penis smaller apparently oh so, gosh yeah it's just not good for your health this is a whole science thing i wasn't expecting to jump into but anyway <laughs> poop energy <laughs> That's the future. That's the future. That's what I thought you were talking about. And that's that's the next diaper genie. It's like you just throw it in a thing that's connected to your the circuitry in your uh, in your apartment or your house. It makes a little smoothie blended energy. Yeah, exactly. Just like Back to the Future when Doc Brown shows up with the DeLorean, he just starts putting garbage in the back of the car. <laughs> it's just fuel. I don't know why they did this in Austin Powers to Fat Bastards poop and they made it liquid and then Austin Powers drank it. That's disgusting. Yeah, and I want to throw up. Like that's poop, Austin. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I, I've been thinking about this ever since, and, and I think they are finding a way to crack the code on this one, but like uh, a lot of uh, issues that we have in the globe come from cows, all the farts. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why don't they find a way to bottle that and turn it into actual functional energy? Something. You know? Instead of just when you drive by, when you're on your way up north all and right. you're like, oh my gosh. Uh, no joke, I nearly crashed my car because of that. It's the smell, so bad. The smell was so horrifying, it was like a punch in the face. And I was just like, I couldn't. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But anyway, about this, I thought Poop. the comedy. I thought the comedy was great. Um, it was nice and witty. Every time they work together, it's always awesome because yeah. they have great chemistry. You know, you wonder like who are the like you said who are the first people to come up with some of these notions. And I can imagine that early on, before modern civilization, you weren't sure who made the baby as a guy. Like you just yeah. knew that there was, and for all intents and purposes, you might've thought that a few dudes made the baby. Or that the woman just could reproduce on her own. They didn't know back then. There are some animals that can reproduce on their own. Yeah. Have you seen Jurassic Park? That's true. <laughs> that is true. Anyway, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Hopefully you guys did too. Uh, subscribe to Julie Nolk's channel or Julie Nolke. I'll just say all the variations of pronunciations possible. Awesome and Julie. And Ryan George or Jorgs. <laughs> terrible and subscribe to uh, stuff so bra's youtube channel and uh there's a instagram and i'm jabby kawaii this is <laughs> stuff so <Sabra>. peace out <laughs>